welcome to my channel. This is my first video uh, for my brand new channel, so um, I thought I'd start by telling you a little bit about myself. I am a mummy to two amazing, beautiful children. Lily, who is two, she turned two in November, and Josiah, who has just turned one, he was one in January, at the end of January. So as I'm sure you figured out, they're pretty close in age. So I thought I would use this channel as a way to share with you some of the tips, tricks and products that we have found invaluable to our survival as a family. So I'm also a self-taught cake decorator. I do it as a hobby mainly for friends and family, but I do think that I've learned a few things that I might be able to share with people. Uh, so if you'd be interested in me showing some of those kinds of videos as well, then let me know in the comments below. So without further ado, let's start this video. So today I'm going to talk to you all about crams, specifically the Upper Baby Vista, which has just been the most amazing pram that we have ever had, and we've had a few. When Lily was first born, we were really, really blessed to be gifted a pram, uh, a travel system from a good friend of ours. And this travel system was amazing. It was a Recaro travel system. I don't think you can still get them anymore. I think they're now um, out of date or out of stock or whatever the words are. Um, but it was just amazing. So I loved that pram and I was really, really sad to let it go but we had to let it go because then Josiah came along. And so because our babies are close in age, we obviously needed a pram that was going to take the two of them. Now we did think about the double side-by-side -side prams, but where we live, there's a lot of really narrow streets and I just couldn't face the thought of trying to walk along these narrow streets with this cumbersome double buggy. So we did lots of research and we were between two pram systems, the eye candy, uh, I think it was the Eye Candy Peach Blossom and the Upper Baby Vista. Now, the Upper Baby Vista was lesser known uh, at the time, so, and because we couldn't afford to buy brand new, because, I mean, let's face it, they're like over a grand, so we decided to look for second hand, and just the Upper Baby Vista didn't come up very often. Whereas the Eye Candy um, pages were ten a penny, so, and um, my husband really liked the way that the Eye Candy steered when we tried it out at the shop, and he was all for, you know, manoeuvrability, and it was stylish, and all the other things, and, uh, yeah, so we we went for that. Now that was okay for a really brief time so when Josiah came along uh, I was able to use uh, use it with him in the maxi cozy car seat and Lily in the seat unit above um, but I have to say I did not find it easy to fold down to fold up I mean the folding part wasn't so bad but putting the seat units on I found really difficult I can't remember quite the action but I remember having to use a lot of pressure on my thumbs and it hurt when I tried to click it in and click it out so um, we had that for probably, I can't really remember now, three or four months, and then we sold that and managed to get back the same amount that we paid for it, so we were really pleased with that. So then we went to the Upper Baby Vista. So I've made a little video to demonstrate all the reasons why we love this pram. We love it as a family. And so here we go. So first things to say, this pram folds and unfolds so easily. And to unfold it, there's a little latch, you just push it on the side and then you just lift the handle and voila, it just all clicks together and it's just so simple. The carry cot is actually really easy to fit onto the frame. Uh, as always, when you get the camera on, trying to show how easy something is, suddenly it looks like it's difficult, but it really wasn't. It's so easy just to snap it straight onto those two adapters. Um, it can be parent facing, it can be world facing, just like uh, pretty much everything on this pram. And so it's so good. The hood, uh, the bar that, that uh, lifts the hood up and down, is actually weight bearing, so it's amazing. You can lift it from there. It can also be used with the car seat on it. So uh, we have the Maxi Cozy car seat, and so we bought the Maxi Cozy car seat adapters. I think you can buy the adapters for lots of other um, car seats as well. And um, so, yeah, you just would have to research that. But yeah, so you can use it with the Maxi Cozy car seat and clicks on really easy, clicks off really easy, no problem. 
So then we've got the push chair. One of the really cool things I love about this pram is that the handlebar or whatever you call it, the bumper bar, um, when you lift it out, it doesn't just lift out with an open and close action. It also can just maneuver in like lots of different directions. So if you're in a bit of an awkward space or anything, you can just open it really easy and just put it out of the way. And it can be parent facing, it can be world facing and all of that. Uh, the other thing to say about this pram that is absolutely amazing is that you can fold it with the seat in situ. I don't use that feature so much because of the fact that we have it in the car most of the time, but it's brilliant, it's a brilliant thing to have. Also this pram can lie flat, the hood is a really big solid hood, and then it has this amazing sun canopy. So if they fall asleep you can pretty much minimise the distractions and it's brilliant. It also has a handy little air vent at the back of it, so if you do use it with the sun canopy down and you want to just peek on your baby and make sure that they're okay in there, then obviously you can put that up. So then we get to using it in a tandem mode. Now there are so many configurations that this pram can do and this is really why I love this pram. So we obviously have the uh, Max Case car seat as I said earlier, so we bought the lower adapter for the um, Up Baby Vista. Obviously if you just use the lower maxi cozy adapters, you can use it with the seat unit but your space is really restricted and although for your little baby or newborn they probably don't care, I just don't like the fact that it's quite so compact. So upper baby do these amazing upper adapters which make the top seat unit much higher and so once these are on, the space between the car seat and the uh, seat unit is just phenomenal. Also. With the upper adapters on the pram, you can use the main seat in all the different positions so you can lie it flat and still have plenty of room for your baby underneath, so it's just brilliant. Obviously, it can also be used with the carry cot, so there are carry cot ad lower adapters, so you do have to get used to the fact there's adapters for everything, but that's kind of how it works for, for uh, upper baby. So um, you can put on the lower adapters for the carry cot, and then obviously you can use carry cot with the upper adapters for the seat unit, and again, loads of space. You can still lay the upper seat pretty much flat. I think you probably could force it fully flat, but I didn't want to compress the uh, hood too much of the uh, carry cot, or you could just put the carry cot hood slightly down further, and then you would be able to lay, lay the top on flat. And just to say about the mini adapters, there are loads of adapters for this pram, but they are all really easy to click on and off. And they've got little dots on them, little uh, colour coded dots, just make it so easy to know which adapter goes where. Once your baby gets a bit older, you can then buy the lower seat unit, which is called a rumble seat. It's a bit of a weird name, but uh, that's what it's called. Again, you can lay both seats flat, so you can lay the rumble seat flat and the upper seat flat, and both babies can still have plenty of room to go to sleep. Um, yeah, it's just, again, just such a well-designed pram. Again, both the main seat and the rumble seat can be parent-facing, they can both be world-facing, or you can have one um, facing one way, one facing the other. Whatever configuration works for you, it, it can be done. And then really excitingly, you can also fold this pram with both seat units on in place. Now, both seat units must be world facing for this to work. But yeah, you can fold it down and they both sit uh, nicely. And if you adjust the footrest as you see in the video, then it's fairly compact. It still takes up a fair bit of room, but it's got two seat units on it. It's gonna take up a bit of room, but it's just amazing. So that's another thing that is a positive about this wonderful pram. In terms of weight, the lower seat can hold 35 pounds, I believe, and the upper seat it's about 50 pounds. So it's just worth bearing that in mind when you're considering which is going to be the best seat to put each child into. Also, just to show you the immense storage capacity that this pram has, even with two seat units on it, Look how much stuff I was able to get under there. Okay, granted, most of it's not stuff that I would actually take out, like all the kids' teddies and things like that, but I just think it's such a amazingly huge space that no pram gives you. So I just love it, I love it. For that reason and for many other reasons. The other thing that's awesome about the storage basket is that you can slightly fold it down. So obviously, if you've got the footrest of the main seat down a bit, then the gap to be able to get like your change bag or whatever underneath into the basket can be a bit limited. And then of course, as if all of this was not enough, if you have a third child, or if your older child like mine likes to walk more often than be in the pram, 
they do a buggy board which we've invested in. So the buggy board clips to the frame just like you can see in the video. It's a little bit faffy uh, but once you get the hang of it it's fine and again you can leave it in situ if you want to. I take ours on and off all the time to get it in and out of the boot because I find it doesn't fold as well in my boot. But the amazing thing about the buggy board is it means technically you can transport three children on this pram. How amazing is that? You might struggle to push it if you've got three body weights on there. However, I just think it's such a, a, a versatile pram. Probably the most cool thing about this pram is the fact that it can fold with the main seat unit, the lower seat unit or the rumble seat, and the buggy board. All three of these items on this pram it can fold. Now I don't think I've come across any pram that can do that yet so I just think this is such an amazing pram. Finally I just wanted to talk about how I fit this pram into my boot. I have a Skoda Superb, it's a saloon version so it's got a really deep boot, I love it, but it's not very tall so being able to fit things in can sometimes be tricky. But I can fold the mainframe down and I can get the main seat unit, the rumble seat unit and also the buggy board. I can get all of those into my boot with my boot tidy and if I've done a full shop I can usually get about three or four massive bags of shopping into my boot still on top of it. So it is quite compact for what it is. Yes it will take up some room but for what it is it's pretty amazing. So we love this pram as I've said. The only thing that is worth noting about it is that it is a little bit wide at the back. That's the price you pay for the amount of stuff that it gives you. So there has been a handful of times when there's been a shop that I've not been able to get the pram into, but it's so rare. Um, literally most of the shops that I need to go to, I've been into tiny cafes, I've been into my little boutique type shops and things, and I can still get it around in tandem mode. So it's just an amazing pram. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to hear more from me, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to be posting one video a week on a Sunday, probably around about eight o'clock once the kiddies have gone to bed. Thank you for watching. Bye.